Hey y'all, I'm Jenna Sims and you've got a pageant with a purpose. When your name is called as a winner in a pageant, like it feels so good. It's such a surreal moment when they say, and the winner is, drum roll. And when they do that on TV, you know, it's for a reason. Like it means, it just feels so good. I wanted to be able to share that winning feeling with kids facing challenges, kids with illnesses. So I created the Pageant of Hope. At the Pageant of Hope, we accept both boys and girls of all ages. When the kids first arrive, uh, we do their hair, we do their makeup, we paint their nails. We teach them the pageant walk, but we just basically try to treat them like kings and queens. A kid in particular who touched my life, his name was Ryan. He had neuroblastoma cancer, which is a really rare form of nerve cancer. And he came up to me right before he went on stage. He had this cute little tux on, he was really tiny. And he tugged on my dress and he was like, Jenna, how does my hair look? And of course he didn't have any hair. So just seeing his sense of humor made me want to work so much harder and I continued to mentor him and unfortunately at the age of nine he passed away. But he is what keeps me going still to this day. I have his picture up in my room. These are two of our contestants from the last pageant of Hope in Los Angeles. Shows like Toddlers and Tiaras totally give pageants a bad rep, but kids can learn so much from pageants like confidence, stage presence, communication skills. But then there's my pageant who focuses on not what you look like on the outside, but your inner beauty. 